custom tree and saddle. Long time ago, Orthoflex Saddle Company, of which the company still exists. It was never sold. If you see that when you run a credit card, it's because it runs under the name Orthoflex Saddle Company, Inc. Now, I wanted to show you today not only the pocket saddle, which this is a good example of one going out to a lady to trail rides. She does some competition riding as well. And uh, this is uh, the new protector pad. When I say new, the point of this video is to show you the differences. The protector pad that came with this previously was called the Ultralight. And uh, we'll drop the name Ultralight because the Ultralight was just as thick as the Roper in the past. Made little difference. So this one's made specifically for the pocket. As you can tell, everything matches up and makes a nice looking package. Differences in the pad, let me show you. <clears throat> First, I want to take the balance shims out. Go in and out pretty easily. this side, Just slip them down and in and forward like that. Put them all the way forward. They act like a wedge under a rocking chair. The big difference here, there's two differences. Feel this and see it. It's all nice and smooth and flush. There's no bump from the protective molded to the shape of a horse shield in here because it's inlaid and an eighth inch layer of felt. That means we've cut out an opening the same size as the shield, both front and rear. So we have a totally smooth transition, both on top and underneath. Then there's a quarter inch layer of polyester felt and the layer of very good fleece, which is uh, soft, not too thick, cleans relatively easy something you can look for in the future, and that is we'll have a liner pad that goes with this, and it'll Velcro and with a little elastic here and here. It'll be cut just like this pad is. It means you won't really see it. It'll be the eighth inch wool just like it's on the top, just like we've used in the past under the pad without the fleece. Difference now is that we have just a little more space between each side of the pad. We have good space in the middle, which is the patent protected elliptical cut, the forward cut in the rear, cut back in the front. In the front, you can see something that doesn't quite look like it did in the past. We no longer have the fleece and the rather slightly rough sewn fleece and felt running across here. Instead, we've got a three inch layer of elastic. There's a layer on the bottom that rides right against the horse. It's strong, but it's stretchy enough. Call it wither relief. With this wither relief, when you put it on your horse and the wither is there and the pad's always being pushed by the saddle. Every stride when the back comes up, Saddle is pushing down, just like this. So with it pushing down, you're always trying to bite in with the pad on the wither. If you've got a, uh, a quite contoured pad, it's still going to get tight right back here. It gets tight one place or another if the pad's going to be held together. So on the bottom is the single layer of the elastic as you can see it right there. Above that and on the top layers of the pad are two layers of elastic which give the unit enough strength but we still have stretch. So you can see what's happening here. We have stability from the top two layers. We have a softness against the horse on the bottom layer. Excuse me. You never pull tight and bite into the wither. 
This isn't the first time I've done this. I've done it for English riders with the really high withered English type horses, thoroughbred, etc. It fixed the problem. We've always known that we had pressure here, always telling people stuff it up in the gullet all the way up. It'll come right down to the horse in 50 feet when you get on a ride. This is, that's still a good way to saddle because then the saddle gets down around the horse when you girth. When you get on a ride, this is going to be right down on a horse, but no longer is it going to be bindingly tight. It's going to support on the wither with a soft stretching of the three inch wide elastic right there. So the wither will come up in between here and not going to bite. As you can see, we've got room for the wither. Let me turn this up so you can see it better. If we can do this, a little slick trick. <laughs> wrestling this horse, but right here, we can stretch, but we don't bite. With a relief, a new first from Lynn Brown's Custom Tree and Saddle. Thank you very much. You can look for it on all the new protection pads, except the Rainer and the Roper. They have piece of leather that rides across the top. They're a little thicker. You don't have the direct contact immediately, and it's working quite well. Thank you very much.